In this video, we offer the complete list of available logs to troubleshoot every technical components and feature function set of an AI environment. AI is consistent with other products, processes and features, log traces of system output and error, and AI's Java components rely on standard Log4j technology to generate info, warning, and error type messages. This information is vital when determining the root cause of problems and solving them. We'll consider both system-wide elements and individual features and their associated logs, the contents, and how to use them. AI's architecture is such that the information is properly compartmentalized. We generate logs during installation, upgrade, use of web components, database, web services, connectors, and much more. Ultimately, our objective is to put ourselves in a position where we can investigate, troubleshoot, and finally solve any deviation from standard operation. In this first video, we focus exclusively on AI. Let's start with a simplified model of the AI architecture and its components, so we understand where the logs can be found. We start with the AI server, which has the largest number of logs. The big three are server.log for the startup procedure, jaws.log for system-wide AI operations, and hibernate.log, which logs connection attempts between the server and both AI and scheduled databases. Other logs have their use based on the context. For example, if you need to audit individual import-export processes, for backup purposes, you can use data migration.log. The config tool has one log, config tool.log. The reporting server relies on Apache technology, and so logs are found in the Tomcat directory. If you're familiar with Tomcat, you'll know that the main logs are catalina.log and .out. The report server uses a third party web app called Jasper, which comes with its own logging capabilities. Connectors come in two types. First, the connector framework supports Atomic, Control M, and ESP. Second, a modified Tomcat web server supports IWS with Catalina and three logs tracing heartbeat, events, and definitions. Let's start with AAI. Before delving into the server's core logs, we will focus on installation, upgrade, and the config tool. Once installed or upgraded, the AAI server logs are found under the root directory in JBoss standalone log. Before we rely on the most for troubleshooting purposes are server, JAWS, Hibernate, and thread dump. Others are specific to certain functions, and so we'll cover them later. Let's start with installation and upgrade. Installation.log is found in the .install4j directory under the directory containing the initial installation elements. It's a technical log that traces each step of the installer, and it's written when you execute the .exe or .sh. Since we execute this step at the beginning of the installation, there are no technical requirements. They're simple executables, meaning you should not run into any problems. You can check this log to make sure that the installation of the server went as planned. Look for the string completed at the end. The upgrade can occasionally be problematic because it executes in the context of an already present infrastructure. This means the server needs to be stopped and you have to connect to the existing database to upgrade the schema. Upgrade.log will show this. The config tool has a log found under the config log directory. You should use it to troubleshoot config tool configurations, when the tool won't start, when the database is not found, or when there's a schema mismatch between the server and the DB. The next logs apply to system-wide AAI and will provide the bulk of the information needed to troubleshoot the server. From this point forward, all logs are found in JBoss standalone log. The startup procedure writes to server.log. Use it to identify basic configuration issues, problematic Java functions, or a missing database connection preventing AI from starting. A series of info messages show that AI initialized properly. Depending on the version of the JDK, you may see warnings which won't prevent startup, but you may want to look into them. When the procedure ends with the message, services are lazy, passive, or on-demand, AI is up and running. JAWS.log traces operational and functional activities. Look for error or fatal messages. The range can be quite broad to include unsupported operating systems, problematic characters and job dependencies, object configuration, performance issues, and memory leaks. Many of these are documented in the Atomic support site and community forums. Simply type the message in the search tool to produce the appropriate posts and tech notes. Hibernate.log can help with database connectivity issues. JAWS.log will help you troubleshoot DB connections. However, you may notice connectivity fluctuations. The connection might be established, but drops at random because of a variety of root causes. 
Hibernate.log shows connection attempts for both the AAI database but also the schedulers. If you're trying to troubleshoot erratic behaviors in data acquisition cycles or discrepancies between AAI and the scheduler's data, Hibernate.log will prove useful. You can also activate the thread dump feature on a temporary basis to generate a snapshot of Java threads. You have to enable thread dump in the web UI version 2. Next to the server, you click More Details and then Start Thread Dump. Then run through the behavior once more to capture the Java process threads. This adds considerable load on the system, so it's important to turn it off when you're done. Look for the blocked entries, identify the process, and then investigate through the support site or with the service team. This is particularly effective for REST API issues. The next logs are narrow in scope. We use them to troubleshoot certain technical areas or feature sets. They are subscription services, the import-export processes to output data to flat files, the database maintenance procedures configured in the config tool, telemetry which Broadcom uses for usage tracking and billing, the simulation service available to Autosys users, ActiveMQ which is a component of the subscription service, and the audit log of admin actions. Finally, EAM shows connections to the EAM domain. Let's start with subscriptions. Transactions made via the service subscriptions, which are REST requests, and the responses are logged in this file. It will contain the complete list of JSON messages generated by subscription requests. If you're having trouble connecting and not getting the right responses, this is the right place to start. A typical message might inform you that you're already subscribed. AI comes with a command toolset to export data to flat files. Many of our customers perform daily exports as a way to back up their configuration. The data migration log file keeps track of these executed commands and the results. Problems may arise from a command that was altered without your knowledge or plain bad syntax. AI comes with automated database and log maintenance procedures which are set in the config file. These procedures perform a number of actions like removing old scheduler job executions and job stream runs in the AI database. You may run into the occasional issue when one of the procedures takes an excessively long time. Ultimately, since they execute every day, you should be able to see messages informing you of successful completion. The telemetry service collects usage metrics and uploads them to the telemetry server specified in the config tool. You probably won't run into many problems with telemetry as long as it's configured correctly. If you do, this is the first place to look. The AI simulation service is unique to Autosys integrations. Users have the option of measuring the production impacts of updated job definitions. Whenever users call on the service, these actions are traced in this log. ActiveMQ is a message broker required for subscriptions. This is the log. ActiveMQ should not be a source of problems. Audit.log logs all actions performed by administrator accounts in the clients. This includes updates to other user accounts, updates to job stream definitions, business areas, and so forth. The purpose of this log is compliance and governance. We want to keep a paper trail of these updates in the event the organization is audited. Finally, the EAM log shows connections to the EAM domain if you've deployed an EAM server. 